Hi, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thermometer chart. A thermometer chart is useful if you want to show actual values against target values. So in the thermometer chart, the actual values are like the mercury within the thermometer. And the target is the casing for the thermometer. So black columns are actual values. Target are represented by the gray columns. So I'll delete that and show you how to create it. So I've got my data with target and actual values. So I click anywhere in the data, go up to the insert tab on my ribbon. And I'm going to go to the column button within the charts group. I just want a 2D clustered column. Make it slightly bigger for you. Now, the first job is to put the actual values on a secondary axis. To do this, you go up to the design tab on your ribbon. Then you go up to the change chart type button. And you need to be on the all charts tab in this dialog box, not recommended charts, all charts. Then down to combo. And the target series needs to be a cluster column, but so does the actual. And you need to place the actual series on the secondary axis. The secondary axis is the axis down the right hand side of your screen, uh, of your chart. Next job is to make the target columns much thicker. So if you right click on one of those columns, format data series, what you're going to do is change the gap width. You decrease it. And by doing that, you increase the width of those columns. So now we have the casing behind the thermometer, the target behind the actual. Next job is to just make sure that the secondary axis scale is exactly the same as your primary axis scale. It is in this example, but if it wasn't, you'd right click on the secondary axis, numbers there, format axis, and just change the minimum and maximum values to match those on your primary axis. Now, once you've done that, you can actually get rid of that secondary axis, get rid of those figures just by clicking on one of the numbers and then pressing delete. It gets rid of them, gives a bit more room for my chart. Could always get rid of the grid lines if I didn't fancy those. And we're done. So thermometer chart, once again, useful for showing actual values against target in a neat little way like this, representing little thermometers. Okay, thanks very much for listening and hopefully that's been useful.